Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Snap-on Tool Review. Uh, thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for all you subscribers. You guys uh, make it uh, easy to make more videos. So, uh, without any further ado, we're gonna get into today's Snap-on catalogs or uh, flyers. So this one will be for September 2016, and this one will be for September all the way till October 31st and this one is the heavy duty I'm gonna do the heavy duty one because there's a lot of cool tools in it that are just for us in the automotive industry too I don't know who of you are in the heavy duty industry if you watch my channel um, wicked thank you so let's uh, start up let's go uh, see what we got here we do have the Modus Edge. Now, if you've ever used a Modus or Modus Edge so far, or uh, yet, they're fucking awesome. I'm gonna have to fucking say they are. They're really cool. Um, I used to have a Solus Ultra, not quite the Modus or the Versus, but you uh, pretty much do anything you want other than, uh, no, you might be actually be able to reprogram vehicles now. Um, with special uh, special permission from from your local dealership or your manufacturer. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I might be wrong. Who knows? I'm not gonna fucking look into it. You guys can. Uh, Seventy two hundred bucks. Something that I ordered through my Snap On dealer, just because it's fucking cool. I ain't paying no fucking $75 price though. Um, now this here, I've before I've only seen really in the 3 8 version. And I never thought there would be any kind of real use for it. In the quarter inch, however, quite possibly a little bit more of a... Get more use out of it. Um... Saw this yesterday on the truck, master oil filter set. This would be wicked for you apprentices. Do you really want to pay two hundred nineteen dollars though, or you can you can buy a set of channel locks for a hundred bucks? Um, bought this awesome awesome multi tool. Still have it in my truck, as you guys have seen in the original video where I reviewed it the day that I bought it. Snap-on toolboxes, of course. I love that. Love that big fucking logo on the side. Just put it in your buddy's faces, you know, I got fucking snap-on. Fuck yeah. Um, yeah. Sleeping bags. <laughs> Sleeping bags. Come on, snap-on. What are you thinking? Better be fucking good. Of course, if you guys want to see that. 3 8 80 tooth, everything's moving to 80 tooth, and of course they, um, all the quarter inches are 72. Fucking decent prices, you know, I mean, like yesterday I paid whatever it was, 100 and 130 bucks or whatever for my, my extended, uh, my extensions with the wobble, wobble extensions, and I got a fucking free ratchet. You can't go wrong, really, to tell you the truth. Um, sockets can be a bit expensive, but that's just snap on for you. And you know, I've explained this in another video. Why is it so expensive? Eh, you're paying for a service. You're paying for the quality and nothing really honestly beats snap on quality when it comes to hand tools. And in, in all honesty, I don't, I firmly believe that you guys may not, whatever. Um, here's another way for you apprentices or whoever out there who want to maybe get, you know, don't want to pay the $273 price tag for this. If you get this, sell it on eBay. Sell it on eBay for 100 bucks, 50 bucks, 75 bucks, whatever the fuck you think, uh, whatever else people are selling them for because you get money back out of it and you can put that back into your tools. Um, just a just an easy way to do it up for you. A uh, hundred bucks off for this whole master set. 
Now this is it has three eighths quarter inch um, Torx and uh, <clears throat> hex sockets. Now they have the shallow ones too, which uh, are pretty fucking awesome actually. Good for torque. Um, do you really? I mean, I don't know. Nine hundred forty-six bucks, guys. This is Canadian prices too, by the way. Um, just convert that shit over. Like again, I'm not gonna fucking do it for you. You guys can do it. Um, there you go again. Fucking three hundred thirty-six dollars. This is an eighty-seven piece Torx, and this has. Let's see, what do we got here? No, 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 no. So we got half inch drive, three eighths drive, and quarter inch drive. You know what? To be honest with you, for the money, I would fucking go with this rather than this set. This is Blue Point. Still, lifetime warranty. You break one, you fucking pass it to the snap on dealer, and he comes in and takes care of you. And he'll try and finger prostate at the same time. Fucking rape you. Now, uh, fuck, I mean, you can't really fucking go wrong. This gun is fucking killer. I don't own it. I own the 3.8 version of it. More balls than you'll ever need for out of a 3.8 impact. Obviously, this is a, this is the half inch. Um, the one thing that I do love about it that I got to give snap on props is that the anvil does stop. Let off the trigger. Done. You don't get that. Ba boom. You get it's just bump. That's it. Pardon my sound effects. Uh, deep um, impact sockets, half inch drive. You know what? In all honesty, I don't have very many half inch drive snap on sockets, and I do. I have. I, that's that way for a reason, because they never break. They honestly just never break. Go save yourself some money, get some hookers and blow, and uh, get a set of sockets from Sears or fucking Matco or whatever. I don't know what Matco prices are. Uh, don't even fucking bother with that. If you guys are into some weird shit, I don't know. Prices of wrenches are prices of wrenches. Uh, these ones I will stand b behind all day long. I uh, I don't own the complete set, but I own uh, 14, 15, and uh, 12, 14, and uh, <clears throat> use it every day. All of them, both of them, every day. Two hundred eighty-five dollars for the metric set, because who really uses standard anymore? Uh, fuck. I mean, fuck, man. Just fucking killer wrenches. Crow's feet. In all honesty. I mean, I don't know what you guys do. I don't know what you, where you guys are working. You know, aftermarket shops, all make shops. I work in a dealership. Um, I need about maybe two of these. So, I honestly save myself a lot of money. I buy the two that I need. Yeah, this is all uh, the big shit, big shit scan tools. Welders, I know nothing about welding. I don't weld. Got nothing to hold hold it up to. Or to compare it to. Roll carts. Fucking roll carts, man. They're getting expensive. They are getting expensive. But you know what? If you're a if you are a uh, an apprentice or you know, there's not much room in your shop, you don't have many tools, maybe you work in a dealership like me. Um my toolbox is supplied by the dealership. Uh, one day I'll take you on a tour of it. You can see a picture of it on Instagram. Um, yeah, this shit's, shit's got so fucking expensive. I'm doing this for you guys. So, heavy duty. Fucking awesome. Awesome air hammer. Stand by it, 100%. I don't own one. I might borrow my buddies every once in a while. I have a an old IR that uh, was rebranded as Mac, but it's an IR. Fucking awesome. And I've never really needed anything else except for a few times where I need that extra length or just an extra couple of fucking punching pounds. <clears throat> 
Not really going to go too far into this. Uh, torque wrenches, you know, everything's per week. They want to break it down per week. I don't really use any of these half inch soft grip breaker bar. I don't own a soft soft uh, grip. I own a, I own the same one, but in uh, the, the old style. Um, I warrantied it a long time ago. It used to be one that was made in Canada, so it had the old Snap-on logo and everything. And these ones, uh, it separated here or broke. Warrantied it after it was fucking like 20 years old. Torque wrench is a uh, half inch torque wrench. I cannot say enough good things about this torque wrench. 359 bucks. Uh, you can leave it set at 100 foot pounds, 80 foot pounds, 69 foot pounds, whatever you want to do. You can leave it in your toolbox all day long and it's fucking ready to go every time you take it out. Wicked if you're a tire guy, if you do a lot of taking off on and off tires. Uh, everybody should own one of those. Everybody. Micrometers. What shop doesn't supply a micrometer nowadays if you really need one? Um, electronic calipers. Save yourself some money and go to Sears or whatever and buy something through them. Just as good. Yeah, says the snap-on guy. Just as good. Combination wrenches. Excuse me. 16 uh, piece punch set, I own this. Um, again, can't say enough bad things about, or good things about it, it's fucking awesome. I own the chisel and I have used it several times. I'm using it more and more now that I work for Toyota and I'm working on trucks and uh, fuck, just, you guys would fucking love it. 92 bucks, whatever. Just go ahead and get it. Soft grip, uh, screwdrivers, these are the Torx, and these are the screwdriver sets, 158, 186. Don't know if you need that many Torx screwdrivers, but eh, it's a bit of you guys, right? Not me, I don't need them. Um, can't say enough good things about these screwdrivers, the best screwdrivers I've ever used. Excuse me, thank, uh, sorry for my voice. Um, Dead blow hammers. This is the best hammer I have ever owned. I own a 32 ounce. Fucking just, just fucking amazing. Beat the shit out of it, man. Uh, I'll do a review on it one day. You guys can see it. It's beat the shit already, actually. Um, scrapers. Yeah, scraping, striking scraper set. Gotta do a lot of oil pan gaskets or something. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, cannot say anything bad about this master ball joint set uh he's using it at my honda dealership and we were i was i was probably the only one one using it and you can literally in and out a ball joint with it with by hand with a wrench it's that awesome just like fucking butter um the adapters gear puller sets again Tap and die for how much you need it. Go save yourself some money. Buy some hookers and blow. Go to Vegas for the weekend. Go to Thailand. Get a little Thai hooker to fucking do whatever you want to them. And, uh... Love it. Love it. Can't say anything bad about their impacts or their cordless tools these days. Um, I own the 3 8 drill with the 14-4 battery. Um, I own this underhood light. $179. Yeah, you might want to hold out. It is awesome though. It's fucking killer. I own that. I own that. Don't know what you guys do for a living if you guys fucking pump grease all fucking day long. I don't know, maybe you do. I don't fucking know. Maybe you work on an assembly line fucking pumping grease nipples. This would be something great. But, you know, again, if you're just doing services and you're doing, you know, one out of six vehicles has a grease nipple on the U-joint, save yourself some money again. Don't fucking bother. Three-eighths. 
feed swivels, impact sockets, 40 bucks a piece, eh? 40 bucks a piece. Again, remember, this is all Canadian prices. Half inch drives for the entire set. So you can get the entire set for 440 bucks or $39 a piece. You do the math. Again, I only have the ones that I need. Hint, hint. Air hammer set. Yeah, that air hammer set is fucking killer. But again, you can probably get the blue point for 183 bucks and save yourself some money. And uh, go again, again, and get some hookers and blow. Hookers and blow. Die grinder, I own this. It's fucking awesome. Way better than the blue point that I owned for years. And we're not going to go too much further into this. We have a thermometer that's 90 or 80 bucks. It takes outside and inside temperatures. If I was a welder, I would definitely have one of these welding masks. Fuel pressure tester set. Yeah. Worth the money, to be honest with you. You want, you want precision. And, uh for four and GM Duramax. Uh, you want the precision. You want what snap one has to offer, honestly. Just fork up the fucking $337 Canadian. Um, vacuum bleeder. Use it every day. I own one. Um, I did sell my battery tester. So you can disregard me selling my battery tester in the previous video. Um, I actually sold it back to my snap on dealer. Test leads, digital testers with the digital readout actually. Those are pretty awesome. Knives. Never have enough knives. I'm a knife guy. I own a couple of Kershaws. One of them is a snap-on. You might have seen in one of my other videos. Maybe you guys have a mullet and some handlebar mustaches. And you want a mobile phone clip? There you go. That's for you. 20 bucks. Not bad. Listen to Ride the Lightning. Fucking headbang. Yeah, fuck yeah. Anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Creepers. They're actually, actually you know what? Their creepers are fucking badass, I have to say. Anyway. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep on the likes. Keep on the subscribes. Comment. Leave a comment below. Tell me I'm a prick or whatever. Don't give a shit. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.